Okay, guys, so we are obviously doing decimal time. Now, this is something that I want to include because it's going to keep coming up. So how do we go from one to the other? Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so converting to, so maybe write this down because it'll be really useful for you. So you know how many minutes there are in an hour, 60. How many seconds are there in a minute? 60. And how many seconds are there in an hour? 3,600. Okay, maybe you didn't know that, but now you do. Okay, so if you just keep those numbers around, maybe right at the top of your page, it really is going to help how we go further. So if we're converting to a decimal time, so we've got two hours and eight minutes, 24 seconds. Now we're going to convert that to a decimal time. All right, so what you're going to put in your calculator you're going to put two because we know we've got two whole hours then we put the eight the minutes over 60 so how many minutes are in an hour 60 and then 24 because it's the seconds we put that under 3600 okay so you in your calculator you actually go two plus eight divided by 60 plus two 24 i mean divided by 3600 equals and you'll get 2.14 there you answered you've got 2.14 hours all right, so that's how you take it from hours and minutes and seconds to put it into a decimal. I really think you need to write this all down once you've finished listening to me. Okay, the next way is the opposite. So now you've got 9.91 hours, and they want it in hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay, so you, first of all, you know you've got nine whole hours, but you've only got a fraction of an hour. So we've got to convert the fraction to minutes, and we do the opposite. So the last time, we were dividing by 60. Remember, it was over 60. So now we times by 60. So we do that. 0 0.91 times by 60. And we get 54.6 minutes. Now, because we've got a 0.6, we need to sort that out. Because that means that we've got some seconds that we need to use up. So what do we do with that? 54 whole minutes. We now need to convert what's left to seconds. So we times it by 60 again. Okay, so it's 60. So we go 0 0.6 minutes, because we know that it's 0 0.6 of a minute. So that's why it's 60 times by 60, and you get 36 seconds. So now you know you've got 9 hours, 54 minutes, 36 seconds. Ta-da! Okay, I want you to try this, okay? And...